Welcome back, everybody, once again to Superstition, a map by Ty. I am TJ the Obscure here with you. I did some work in between episodes. I got rid of all the mobs in this room and took out the spawners and just kind of went back and started trying to find secrets and more wood and also released this lava down here so that I could start getting some cobblestone. So we now have stone tools. Uh, which should make things easier. I found bum, ba, bum, bum, bum. I, I found a lot more wood. Maybe not a lot. Um, yeah, no, my inventory would suggest not a lot. But I did find a chest that had steak and a bunch of wooden tools in it. It was actually up there where I saw what I thought was an iron block. It ended up being a quartz block. Um, and then I found the direction that we're supposed to go. It was not up there. It was not back there. It was actually over here. Really, really cool layout, I must say. There's a spawner off to our left. Oh, don't don't take my wood, guy. Oh, gosh, that scared me. Um, And you know what? I remember seeing more torches somewhere, and I was going to grab them, and now I can't remember... Where I put them. I did record um, all the off-camera work. Nothing too exciting happened. I was going to make a montage, but I don't think it's really worth it at this point in time. Uh, just know that there were a lot more little kind of cubbies off to the side uh, to find things. Where did I see? Oh, there they are. And I tried to make this bridge a little bit safer, especially because there's now lava underneath. But yeah, let's grab some additional torches here, shall we? And head. Uh, do I really want to go all the way around? Can I can I land in some water by chance? Oh, there's some like right. If I stand like right here, do you think I'll land in it? Oh, oh gosh. Okay, I was off by one block. Um, I did not realize that. Okay, it looks like there might be something off to the right right there. Uh, also, we missed a bunch of um. Well, not a bunch, but just like things like at the very start that very first zombie spawner has a shovel next to it which would have given us blocks there was stuff up one of the waterfalls and what are you zombie flesh uh, it looks like there might be like I keep seeing these little cubbies places and then it turns out they're not actually there uh, and what it's a dispenser this is making me a little nervous, especially with the bedrock right there. And the gravel. What? Okay, there's... Uh, what's that? What's that? Oh gosh, that scared the crap out of me. Okay. Mr. Silverfish. Whoa! Whoa! Um, okay. Well, that was, um, eventful, to say the least. Whoa. Oh, gosh dang it. Yeah, was not, um, expecting any of that there. Let's try to disable this creeper spawner. Like a so. Oh my gosh, you guys. Whoa. And there's baby spiders down there from the looks of it. Redstone. Oh gosh, I got too much stuff in my inventory, you guys. Way too much stuff in my inventory. Uh, but we can get lots and lots of blocks. Lots and lots of the blocks. This is taking us back to the start. So maybe this is just a shortcut or something. Oh man, what can I... What can I get rid of? Gosh dang it. Uh... The wooden hoe, maybe? I guess. I don't think we'll need it. Let's try to get, like, two two stacks of, of snow blocks, I think, would be a good idea here. And then we'll move on. At least we don't have to traverse through anything too crazy. Although, like I said, I went back and basically took out all the spawners, or at least most of the spawners. I did not take out the um, starting zombie spawner, though, just because I thought it might be smart to save one. Just in case. Well, that was uh, that was exciting. Okay, more spawners. 
the spawners up in the ceiling are are scary and confusing. Where did I see what I thought was a little cubby? Wasn't it over here somewhere? Was it up? Up somewhere? Oh, whatever. Whatever, let's eat the foods and keep moving along. Um, we got spawners, creeper spawners up in the little walkways, it looks like. I want to pick up this bed. If we can. I'm worried about having... These spiders... It sounds like on either side of me, actually. Um, gosh dang it, my inventory. Okay, shovel, be gone. Pick up the bed. And take out the spider spawner. Looks like there could be things in the ceiling. There's likely something up here, if I had to guess. These little platforms were often an indication that there was wood nearby, and indeed that is the case. I wonder just how scarce wood is going to be. Do I want to mess with taking out these spawners up here? Uh, oh, I don't have any. Um, stuff. Can you guys get to me up here? I don't think so. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go along this way. I think that makes a lot of sense. Oh, he did not destroy his own home. Oh, I, I was like, I should so be able to reach that? What are you talking about, guy? That creeper's gonna start drowning here any second. Uh, which makes me a little nervous having him up there like that. This actually seems like a pretty smart move coming up here. Uh, there's no skellies as far as I know. And... No spiders either. What is this thing? Right here. Looks like there could be something down, down there. Although again, oh, it's wood. Blocks of wood, logs, logs. Is that what they're called? Logs. Whoa. Okay. Um, are you? What are you? You have a bow? No. Okay. Those are just the guys with the bones. There is a chest right here. Uh, let's see if we can reach it real quick. Leather. Uh, let's go ahead and consolidate these guys like a so. Grab the leather and the stake and the sticks. Uh, do we have room for the logs? Yes, we do. So let's head over here and grab some of this stuff. Uh, can we get it? Can we get it? We did not get that one. And I'm assuming that we're going to have the same thing right here. Oh, there is a spider. Which makes me a little nervous. I don't think they can get up here. Could be wrong about that, I guess. Oh, there goes my wood. Um. Okay. We need to go down the staircase, but we got a lot of mobs to deal with. Okay, there is a dispenser down there. Um. Oh gosh, how do how do I want to do this exactly? I guess I could dig down just right on top of it, maybe. Perhaps wouldn't be a bad idea. My stone shovel is getting a little low, but we have a backup one. Uh, 
have that is wood or no I threw that one out gosh dang it oh well oh well it's just snow right uh let's go ahead and do that and that and what do we got some armor. Gosh, I grabbed this armor. I didn't even I didn't even think about making some. That would probably be a good idea, right? And that Do I need the redstone torches? I don't know. I don't know what we're going to need here. All right. I'm wondering if it's really worth it to go after what I assume is a final piece of wood over there or if we should maybe just go for the end. The staircase. Uh, I guess we might as well, though, right? Since we don't know how much... Oh, actually, I want that one there, just so we don't get knocked off. We don't know how much wood we're going to be given in the later areas. There we go. Uh, let's do that. And get some light in here. Ooh, that's mean. I do kind of wonder if there's anything down there. Just just the one piece, huh? That was so not worth it. Let's take out a Mr. Spider. Oh, you cheater. You big fat cheater. And... You know what? I think that might be a charge creeper spawner. Uh, Ooh, okay. And but don't but um, I think we should be relatively safe here. Ooh, yes it is, a charge creeper spawner. And they could even be insta-boom, for all we know. And that has me quite terrified. But I think we should be able to, first of all, just block off that guy. And I know that we got another one around here. Down below, I do believe. Where'd you go there, Mr. Creeper? Uh, light. I really wish I had some. Okay, he's in. He, is, he cannot follow us, right? It's making me very nervous. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Wait for him to come over and then we'll block him off, maybe? Gosh. Can I reach that from right there? Uh... Okay. We good? There's the wool right there. But I do not trust anything in this hallway. Uh, let's do that. Intersection 1. Oh, really? Okay, so the wool... Gosh, this feels like a trap. Uh, let's bridge out there. I'm worried that, like, lights are going to get shut off or we're going to get teleported or something crazy is going to happen. Uh, there it is. There's White Wool, one objective down. This is a, I think, 13 or 14 objective map. Something like that. That's the last of our torches. 
Um, but um, looks like there might be something down. Whoa, I was holding shift. That was weird. Whatever. Let's uh, let's check out the intersection. It does look like a relatively friendly, peaceful intersection. We got blocks. Fantastic. Let's throw a chest down. Um, let's just put it right there for now. Let's read the book. Intersection one. Area order. Reverie atop the lava fall. Hovering trance. Rotunda. Secreta. Secreta, uh, acidic waters, Boomtown. Boomtown sounds like fun. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that one of Ty's kind of design choices for the map is that each wool, the kind of aesthetics of the area are supposed to kind of match the color of the wool. So for white wool, we had all the snow and stuff. Orange wool, assuming that that's next, is going to be... Um... Lava, I would think, although it says to go to Reverie next. It's possible that the wool are not in the typical order. Uh, well, let's check and see what's down here. We've got a little base, shield, and a shovel, which we already have stone tools. I'm a little nervous about like using the furnace or using the bed. For that matter, and it goes even further down. Uh, intersection atop the lava fall. Well, that's orange wool, so I'm guessing. Oh gosh, get me out of there! Okay, we'll we'll come back. I'm sorry to have disturbed you. <laughs> I was not expecting it to just like start right away like that. Uh, okay. Let's, there's an inner chest up there. I was going to say we should probably check the center, but there's clearly no, no secrets, at least not right there. Let me get situated and then we'll head into uh, the next area. Probably won't be able to get too much done, but we'll at least be able to kind of scope things out a little bit. All right, grabbed a little bit of glowstone just so we have some lighting. This is Reverie, and we are greeted right off the bat with some uh, zombies. We got mushrooms and melon as well. We should definitely... Oh, I forgot to grab one of those shields, didn't I? Well, there is a... Skelly spawner for us. Potentially use it for arrows. Is there anything up the waterfall? Does not look like it. Um, I'm trying to think like what gosh dang it. What area this is. Because again, it should all be color based. So maybe this is purple wool. Just based on the color scheme so far. I really don't want you guys blowing up and knocking out my glowstone if I can help it. Oh, and there's wood too. I didn't even think about that. Gosh, yes, wood. Wood is good. Not that I desperately need it at the moment. But just knowing that we have access to it is helpful. Hey, I got an arrow now, guy. Oh, there goes my one arrow. Which direction are you coming from, Mr. Skelly? Oh, you still got a shot off. Fantastic. Um. Oh, wait, is this? It looks very calm and peaceful. There's nothing at the bottom of the water, so don't look. Speed. I don't know if I trust you there, guy. Okay, yeah, this is the monument. I heard a skelly, though. Um. Well, that's interesting. 
Oh, and there's stuff over there. What? Okay, I'm a little confused. Gosh, this new melon texture is hideous. Like, wow. I don't like the new glowstone either. There's something... Whoa! Dude, that has been happening to me so often lately. I have no idea what's causing it, but I get these little, like, lag spikes in single player. I know somebody tried to explain it to me, I think, at one point. But, um... It's been happening a lot more often, 1.14. I'm starting to think that it might have something to do with my hard drive. Honestly, I've needed to replace my hard drive probably, you know, for for a while now, to say the least. Oh, gosh dang it, dude. Ooh, okay, that was close. Please, nobody else spawn while I'm trying to do things. Hopefully it is sufficiently lit. Uh, is it just the skelly spawner? Because there was a creeper up here as well. Ooh, wait, I just heard somebody else spawn. Ender pearls, a gold pickaxe, and nothing else that we really need there. Okay. Well, we could turn this right here straight into a skelly grinder. There might be a better option elsewhere in the area. Where's this skelly at? Is he inside? Yeah, I think he might actually be inside. Um... Huh. I guess it's like a little, like a little base for us. Okay. Okay, we got bowls and wood tools and lots of decorative things here. I still don't feel very safe here in the monument area. Ooh, a single piece of iron. And, oh, give me the arrow. Give me the arrow, guy. Well, what do I want to do right now? Let's let's make some torches and go and investigate this little kind of side path over here and see what we can find. Uh, I'd probably want to make some food first. Or we'll just grab some melons, I guess. I'm not sure if I believe him about the water down below. Uh, Tip's book, I think that's the same one that we got at the beginning, right? Replace the normal glass with the appropriate objective block. Placing wools after you get them is recommended. I wonder if there's going to be any kind of reward for placing them, because if so, we should probably go ahead and place the uh, hovering trance. Oh no, that, that must be an area, right? Gosh, I'm, I should have brought that book with me. Are you really speed? It's for 17 seconds. <laughs> Seems kind of useless. Oh, okay. Let's see here. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, bum. We can definitely place the objective. Uh, top the lava fall, hovering trance, rotunda. Okay, so we're supposed to go to the lava area next, which is down below, and then to that area over there. So I guess we'll hold off. I'm going to spend time getting situated here at the monument, probably setting up a skelly grinder. 
and a farm of some kind. I think the only thing that we can really grow is mushrooms and melons at this point. I don't think we have any grass, although we might be able to find some in one of these earlier areas. Now let's go ahead and place the objective. Wait, what does it say? Replace the normal glass. Okay. White wool placed. We get a golden apple, which is definitely worth it, I would say. Uh, let's just go ahead and finish that off. You guys messed up my monument, man. All right, well, we successfully got the first objective, and I'm feeling much, much more powerful now. And uh, should have quite a few goodies to show off next episode, assuming I can get this skelly grinder up and running. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.